Today I'm making cookies and cream ice cream. Now the reason I'm making it is it is my oldest son's favorite flavor and I wanted to you know make it for him and my mind automatically goes to how can I make it as healthy as possible. So while this attempt is very challenging well, I've decided that the best way to go is to use the highest quality ingredients that I can find including the cream and even the cookies. All right so I'm going to show you all that and there's very few ingredients in this by the way and we're not going to be using an ice cream maker. We're going to just whip it up and put it into a container and freeze it. Now the hardest part is waiting for it to come out of the freezer after at least six hours or overnight is probably best. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you all the ins and outs here of what we're doing and all the ingredients right after my chef joke. Okay, I'm starting off here with chef joke number one. Why is ice cream so bad at tennis? They have a soft serve. <laughs> to prepare for this recipe, you're going to want to take your mixing bowl and your beater, whatever type you're using, and place it in the freezer to get it nice and chilled, say maybe, you know, 20 minutes, maybe an hour before you start making the recipe. Okay, so let's start with the cookies that we're going to use for this recipe. So instead of using Oreo cookies, which you can see the ingredients are here, they're using canola oil, which is highly inflammatory, and they're using high fructose corn syrup, which is really bad. I decided to use Newman's own cookies because the ingredients were slightly better. They used expeller press sunflower oil, which what that means is they use a press to physically squeeze the oil out of the seed rather than using chemicals. And for their sweetener, they're just using regular organic sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cookies and place them in a Ziploc bag. Now after making this a few times, I decided that the cream inside the cookies really doesn't add much to the ice cream. So I removed about maybe a third of the cream from the cookies and just used the chocolate cookie part. So remove the excess air from the bag and zip it closed. Take a rolling pin or some other type of device and pound away on those cookies. Now you can make them as small and as crumbly as you like, or if you like bigger pieces, you know, just don't crumble it as much. I like the cookies broken up on the smaller side. So in a large mixing bowl, you're gonna wanna add your con sweetened condensed milk to this. Now remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next, we'll add some vanilla extract. We'll add a pinch of salt, and then we'll mix that with our whisk to combine. Once it's mixed well, we'll set it aside. So now bring out your mixing bowl from the freezer at the last minute, right before you're ready to mix your cream. Okay, so let's talk about the heavy whipping cream. You've got to use this. This stuff is amazing. It is chef preferred, I'm telling you. It is just incredible stuff. First of all, it's organic. It is 36% butter fat. If you want a rich and creamy ice cream, this is the one to use. It's expensive, but sometimes when you're indulging like this, you go for the best. So I'm gonna pour that cream right into my chilled mixing bowl. Get this, this whipping cream whipped up in a minute, maybe it was a minute and a half. Unbelievable and the flavor and the texture is something else. Can you tell I'm in love with this stuff? Now make sure you don't over whip this or you'll end up with butter and you won't want to do that. So you'll want to stop about here. You want some nice stiff peaks. So place a couple of big dollops of whipping cream into the condensed milk and take your whisk and just gently blend it in. You don't want to deflate the whipping cream so that's why you do it nice and slow. Take your time, just you know, mix that in gently. Once you have most of that mixed in like this, then you can go ahead and add the rest of the cream. So just continue to fold it in until it's nice and smooth like this. This looks amazing. Now all that's left to do is to add those cookies and fold it in. Now I found it much easier just to use a spatula to fold it in instead of the whisk. Okay. 
I have a six cup container here that I'm going to put the ice cream in, but you can use anything you want, as long as you have a nice snug fitting lid. And then take your spatula and smooth out the ice cream in your container. Then you're going to want to top it with a piece of plastic wrap, making sure to press the plastic wrap down on top of the ice cream. And then the lid, and then pop it in the freezer for at least six hours, or better yet, overnight. Okay, so it must be time for chef joke number two. This is a knock-knock joke, so here we go. Knock-knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Banana split, so I screamed. <laughs> All right, our ice cream has been in the freezer for overnight, essentially, and it's ready to be scooped up. So let's get into that and see how it looks. The ice cream's a bit firm after 24 hours in the freezer, so let it sit out for five, maybe even 10 minutes before you try and scoop it up. This is some of the most creamiest and delicious ice cream you'll ever eat. If you'd like to try another flavor of ice cream, I have a lemon one for you. I think you're gonna love it. It's creamy, it's delicious, and you really can't find this flavor too often in the stores. So you can try mine. I'll leave the link right here for you, and you can check it out. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me to let me know. And if you have a recipe request, I'd love to hear from you. So leave it down in the comments. We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.